very good afternoon to you. It's Saturday the 1st of March 2014 and here we are at uh, Palmer, just north of Anchorage in Alaska on a beautiful spring-like day. Temperatures uh, just below freezing. You can see the frozen uh, Heart Lake in front of me here. And today we're commissioning uh, the second uh, VLF antenna here. This is a 10-foot uh, octo loop. It's eight-sided. 10 foot diameter on a wooden frame supported by a uh, fiberglass uh, army pole system and clipped up using these U clamps. At the moment I've got it temporarily resting on my well casing here. I'm sure that's probably not legal but anyway. Um, the, uh, the antenna is a 25 turn uh, loop using a 20 uh, gauge AWG stranded wire and insulated on a quarter inch uh, uh, cut out grooves here in some cedar which has been uh, prepared and uh, yacht varnished to protect the, the turns and uh, it all comes down to the little control box here which we got from, from uh, Home Depot and uh, the 25 turns here have got a little couple of tappings which you can see here to reduce the the inductance but uh, because of the capacitance effect of the of the of the turns the uh, the antenna won't actually tune below around about 300 kilohertz there is a switch underneath here which is weatherproof would you believe it or not to switch in the the taps of the coil and here is a, another switch to add some additional capacitance across the the turns and the back here is a, uh, a variable capacitor uh, which is a thousand picofarad so we can switch an additional uh, capacitance here to resonate it. On the outside uh, there's this additional red wire here which goes around the perimeter of the loop and that's actually the pickup uh, wire. It goes all the way around and it's six inches uh, away from the other coil, the outer uh, turns and this goes straight across uh, the SO239 connector here. So one side uh, the wire goes to uh, the outer and uh, this side here goes to the inner of the SO239. So it's uh, galvanically isolated from the antenna, the rest of the coils which help with the, uh, the noise abatement if you like. It's pretty sturdy this, this is uh, pretty heavy. The antenna probably weighs about 45, 50 pounds, uh, but it really has to uh, survive 80 to 100 mile an hour winds. And the only thing that's really gonna kill it if there's a tree, tree falls on it, which, uh, which does happen. We've got another one of these already out in the, uh, in the antenna farm here. To my right is uh, my doubler dupper, 60 foot tree. And in that lot over there, somewhere hidden, there is another octo loop. Anyway, this is uh, KL7L, and we'll now connect up the uh, the coax, and hopefully see how well this thing works. <laughs> 